Hey guys, welcome to my second episode of my basic sponge plugin tutorials. Um, today, like it says in the title, we'll be going over the basics of the command API and how you can use arguments and different stuff like that. So let's jump right in. Um, start off exactly where we started off last episode. If you didn't watch last episode, um, it wasn't really much, just basic setup and stuff like that. We can actually delete this. We don't need this. We'll need it later, but for now. Um, so last episode we went over uh basic setup and how to set up your server and how to set up your plugin basics. Um so getting into commands. There's two command APIs, there's low level and like it's not called high level, but you can call it high level command API. High level is basically like the one that everyone's gonna use. There's command callable and uh a different one, but we won't get into that. Um, but right now we're just going to start with how to create a command, first of all. So in bucket, what you used, you created your command class that had an on command boolean that you set up all your stuff and do. Sponge really isn't much different. Um, for sponge, we have to create an event. Um, and that's going to be on, look forward, on initialization. So in it. So you want to do game, initialization event, E. And then, so there's two things we want to do. We want, you can either do it inside here, or you can do it in an executor. I recommend doing an executor. It's much cleaner. It keeps your main class cleaner. Um, so what we want to do is first create our command executor. You might remember doing this in a, uh, we want to tutorial command. Let's call it that. Tutorial executor, actually. Okay. And we want to do certain things. Okay. So now, if you go to the sponge docs, you can read it's almost the same as a bucket plugin. You have to implement command executor. And because you implement it, you need the methods. And the method is you want to override from the superclass. And it's public command result execute import that and come oops command source so see command as you see this is different than a bucket already arcs and this is optional but it's nice to add throws command exception. We import those and that and return a command result and we'll return success. Oh, I forgot I could eat there. There you go. And so, right here is basically the same as buckets on command. So, execute the execute method is taken from the superclass command executor, it's the same as on command. Different method, but new API. So, um, read this command source. Um, I don't know exactly. I forgot what's already called in bucket, but that's the entity or thing sending the command. Um, it's console or player or user or whatever. Um, you can get a player from it. Uh, like the way you get a player from is player player equals player and cast source to player simple import player done you got player and then you have all these methods there dot all these um so what we want to do is create a simple command that says hello when you type hey or let's do when we type slash test it says hello plus your name to make it a little bit more difficult um so We'll actually do if if the if the sender if the source is an instance of so if the source the person sending the thing sending the command isn't a player we'll send them uh, hey console so I'll return command result dot success I want to do source the send message and the new thing with uh, sponge is instead of sending strings you send their new data type text 
um, there's a bunch of different stuff. And like, remember, chat colors is now text colors. Um, but if you want to send a string, you text out of, and we'll make this green text colors, green. I want to do hello console. But if it's not, we can do player, player. And you technically don't have to set the player here since player is a uh, extends command source. But we might use player later, so let's actually define it. So I'm going to do player dot send message, and you can send chat types and make a different chat type and stuff like that. But that's that's for a later video, and you can send them same thing as above, but we'll do player text colors dot green, and let's make this. Hello, comma, bus player, get name. And we, can, we can't we can run this yet. We need to go back into here. And we need to go back and create a command spec. Um, we can specific specification. Um, this basically sets like the description when you type help, the permission, and how you set the executor. So how to set when they type the command, where to get the information from. So we want to go and type command spec, import that, a tutorial, CMD, and we kill this command spec dot builder. And we do that description text dot of, oh, it's not text, it's text dot of uh, tutorial command. Let's import text there. We got permission. We don't. We can set a permission here. It's just a string. Um, you can do. This is what we need to do. Executor new. I want tutorial executor. We do want build. And we we'll do game dot get. Um, plugin manager. No, it's a uh, game dot get command manager. I don't want to get com get command manager dot register um, this because it's our plugin and we want tutorial command and we want the string so let's make it tut or test the more uh, commas you have to add after the command call command call, command callable which is this um, the more alias aliases can have. So it's like typing the same thing for the same command, typing different things for the same command. So now, as we did before, uh, we can build this. If you don't remember how to build it, uh, you can watch that back in my last video. And we can go into our server that we made last video too. Launch Minecraft actually, so we can show the difference in player and console sending it. Launch Minecraft and make sure that's in the mods folder tutorial 909 okay uh run the server and while this is starting let's go crash and that's so it's not responding okay let's player oh it's still it's still starting then if it says that and loaded tutorial.jar that's good and I think this should say 20. Yep. Can we join the game? And I think when we set each other up, we didn't say each other game mode. One. Oh, we're not up. <laughs> uh, let's set our game mode anyways. Okay. So I don't want to die while I'm testing this. So we do slash tut. Hello introduction. If we do tut in here. Hello console. So as you can see, there's two differences here. Interdict seven, and that's all because of what we set in here and here. So now that's cool and all, but it's not really useful unless you want to like create a messaging plugin or something like that. So let's stop the server. Memo is this. So let's say you want to have some arguments. Um what do you want to do? First of all, let's remove this. Actually, let's keep the let's keep the console thing, but let's say only players can run this command. 
only players can run this command. Now let's make it red. Make it something bad. Okay. Um, and what we want to do in here is there's certain things we can do to set arguments and stuff like that. And this is like parsing the arguments. Um, okay. So there's this thing called generic arguments in Sponge where like you can grab one, all the strings, a list of strings, um, a player out of a string, a world out of a string, all types. But to do that, you need to do dot arguments and you do generic arguments. And then you do, oops, generic arguments. And you choose one of these. None is if the command has no arguments. And that's usually what you want to do. But if you don't choose it, it automatically goes to that. Only one is, it only has one argument. All of is you have to choose of uh, a certain ID. Boolean is it's Boolean. Catalog element is uh, argument is like a member of a specified catalog type. Um, choices is turn an argument that allows selecting from a load of set of values. It's like you have, uh, so our, our command tutorial, so slash tut, um, choices could be slash tut1 or tut2 or 3. And if it's not one of those, we'll throw an error or an exception. Dimension is it gets a world or a dimension from that, like the end, the nether, or the overworld. Double uh, number is like it requires a number and it requires a number to be a double. Enum, it requires a number to be a part of an enum. First parsing, you can read all these in the uh, documentation. Uh, ooh, it First parsing is like it matches the first one of like a list of elements. Uh, integer requires to be an integer. Literal, um, that goes along with like part of a text and stuff like that. Uh, you can read all of these. Location, I'm not going to go into the, but yeah, we want to choose only one. I think uh, probably this way. Only one. And then this isn't the argument you want, but this is like, a placeholder for the argument. So let's name this um, slash tut one. So let's name this ID. And we want to do text. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so we need to do generic rinse dot dot string. And we need to do Do we need to do a uh, text in here? Yeah. Okay. So we need to do text dot of ID. So what's going to happen is the argument isn't equal to ID, but to get the argument, you need to do, I'll show you in here. To get the argument, you need to do args dot get one for ID. Um, so we could do text text equals where's that string? Oh, I just want to get because it's an optional. Yeah, and is it a string? Optional. Oh, well, I think we just do two string here and then make this a string. Okay, so this is our argument here, and whatever the argument is we can like display that back to the player. So we do player dot send message text dot of, and let's make this a different color just cause we can. Let's make this agua. And we wanna do, you said, and this will only accept like one argument. So I'm gonna do text. And now, since we have this already set in here, this is the argument. We want to do build, build artifacts, artifacts, let that build, uh, run our server, run it on Minecraft. And obviously, there's more like realistic applications you can do for this. Um, 
there's way bigger things you can do with this, just like there was in Bucket. So there's the potentials for any plugin API is great. So if we do tut, it's going to give us an error because we don't have enough arguments because now we have it specified in here that we need an ID or like an argument. So even if we do it, we tut one, it'll give us, you can't run that command. Slash tut one. So we won. So, we, but if we do this, it'll throw an error. We have too many. But again, if we do, I love cookies, it'll still work. So that's just a basic uh, general example you guys could use. Um, next video, we're going to be over, going over creating our own messaging system. So ways players can send messages back and forth to other people. Uh, I'm going to have to get someone else to help me out with that or uh, two Minecraft clients, I think. But keep a lookout for that video. Um, hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, it's just a basic tutorial how to begin using commands and arguments i'll be going into in-depth videos later uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and see you guys next video